How about those Brooklyn Nets? Last night, I, let me set the, 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 the picture, Rob. Let me, let me set it. They've played two games together. Okay, and I don't want to hear about, oh, but they played together in Oklahoma City. Man, that was eons ago. That was eons ago. It was a whole different James Harden. You know what I'm saying? And And a whole different KD. A different KD as well. KD hadn't hadn't developed into the killer that he is now. Not yet. I don't know about killer, but he wasn't. He he was great, but he wasn't wasn't an all-time historically great like he is now. But anyway, two games in, they beat – the best team in the East, the Milwaukee Bucks. Two games in, they shoot 55% against one of the best defenses in the league over the past several years. Two games in, they get a stop. And what you saw at the end of that game, Rob, we've talked about this. Can you get a stop when you need to? Now, they got to work on the defense, but they got stops when they needed to last night. But you know what? I, I always remember in Detroit when Larry Brown was there, and you know that team was a defensive team, Chris. Right. But it was always he always about the stops, about getting the stop at the end of the game that you need. They're on a run. You get the stop, get the ball. The playoff basketball is about stops. It really is. Because most of the teams are really good, and the players can score. It's not like you're going to shut somebody out. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Because what you saw last night, and this, this is something the Bucks uh, look, Rob. I like Giannis a lot. I like everything he's about. He Uh-oh, seems like Chris a great is rip him. Well, yeah. no, I'm, here's what I'm gonna say. He ain't their go-to guy, and I know. I mean, this is not a revelation. We've we've known this, but I'm oh, just saying Chris from Middleton? watching that game last night. Get this: the last three minutes of the game, when it was nip and tuck. Giannis had one shot, and it was a put-back dunk. So it wasn't even run for him. Right. He followed up a miss and dunked it. Chris Middleton took five shots. Chris Middleton took the last shot. Chris Middleton is their go-to guy. And Chris Middleton is a, a fine player. He's a, he'll probably be an all-star again. He's solid. You know, he's a good player. But He's had some you career know from a second-round pick with no yes. guaranteed contract. I'm Absolutely. I, I give him props. But you know this. You brought up playoff basketball. In the playoffs, especially in a seven-game – well, they're all seven-game series. They know your plays. They know your tendencies. Yep. They know your calls. They know, every, they know everything, right? The defense knows everything you're doing. So it comes down to do you have a guy that when push comes to shove, when you know if I take two dribbles to my left, I'm pulling up for a jump shot. When you know all of that, you still can't stop me. And the the Bucs don't have one guy like that. With all due respect to Middleton. Philadelphia, Rob, if I'm generous, I'll say they got one, and that's Joel Embiid. And I think I'm being extra generous with that. Yeah, because I'm not so sure that he can right. make that shot all the time. Absolutely. You know what I mean, right? I'm yes. Not, I'm, I'm and he you. don't go down low enough for my liking. Right. You know, where he could make it more often, but you're right. And Boston, yeah, they got those guys, but they're younger and they're not, let's face it, they're not on the same level as the three. Three. And can, <laughs> that I, can I mention have. this? Who haven't played, the third hasn't played yet. Right. But, Chris, we talked about it earlier in the show. It ain't about his basketball. Can I give you a stat for the first seven games, the seven games he played in? Kyrie. Kyrie. 27 points, six assists, five rebounds. This is his average. Shooting 50% from the field, Chris, 43% from three, and 100% from the free throw line. If you could figure out how to make all three of them work together, who are you doubling? Who are you leaving open? And here's the other part. While teams are making twos, Anthony Davis is making twos and LeBron James, they're making threes. Well, slow down. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You brought up the Lakers. I'll, I'm, just, I'll I'm, leave, just I'm not ready that. to put them above the okay. Lakers, but I'm with you. I like them. I like them as the, the best team in the East for, for sure. But you brought you hit it on the head though, Rock. If, if no, I get that. I mean, it's a big a, if. I, I think the actually, 
I look, and you you gave Kyrie's number, and you know I, I, I do nothing but praise Kyrie's game. The dude is phenomenal. I got him in the Hall of Fame. I think he's the best ball handler ever in the NBA, and I think he's one of the best finishing guards we've ever seen. He's awesome. But James Harden is better. James Harden is better. Watching, I mean, I watched it in Houston. I would always have Harden ranked ahead of Kyrie. But this dude, he should be their point guard. Kyrie's a really good passer. Harden's a better passer. Harden is a great little point guard. And I think Harden should run the point. Now, obviously, it'll be some overlap. Even KD brings it up here and there. But Ky- look, for the most part, Harden should run the point. Kyrie should be off the ball and putting in buckets. Like, I, I actually think... it. it if I could write the script the way I think it would work out perfectly, I'd have Harden at the point, Kyrie at the two, obviously KD at one of the forward spots. KD's the leading scorer. Kyrie's the second leading scorer. And Harden's, you know, giving me 25 a game. It's hard to imagine three guys over 25 points, but these dudes are that good. And Harden's leading the league in assists. Right. It could happen. I mean, that's that's what I see. If they're like, I don't know that it'll work out that way. I have my, I have serious doubts about it. Well, there have been people too who have said that they, why do they need Harden, right? I mean, uh, Kyrie. Kyrie. They should just stick with the two that they have. Look at what they've done so far. And I disagree with that. I I, I just think I think people. I get the. It's hard for people to separate whether he's going to be there, all the other stuff, but but ability-wise and what he does, he's more battle-tested than than, uh, than, uh, Harden, and he's performed better in the playoffs. Against those Warriors teams, Chris, he averaged 28 points in the finals. I mean, he made the big shot to help them come back in that 3-1. And I know there were other players in LeBron or whatever, but I'm just well, saying Harden has melted. He was the second guy. Harden was melted. Harden has melted down in way too many big games. But way he's too many. I hear you. And to, you, to, to poo-poo it or act like it isn't like the sample size isn't like one of those little packets you get of soap to use at the hotel. This is a 12 bar p- uh, the pack. The ones that you, you take know what I mean? with you when you leave, right? Exactly. You know, I, <laughs> when I came back from Vegas, I had four bars of soap. I was good to go. <laughs> oh, did I Look, say that? I, I hear you, Rob. And, and, and I don't deny that maybe Kyrie's the closer on this team. Like, you know, he, in fact, I think he is the best closer on this team. See, I like that. You, you're thinking about it, Chris, because he can do a lot of things, finish at the basket. He don't have to settle for a jump shot, right? He can do KD's a lot of things. Pro- I think KD's the best shooter, but KD's clutch time stats aren't aren't that great. So I think they all can close. But I, I here's what I say. I Harden, when you just compare Harden and Kyrie, Harden was always the number one guy. Now you're right, he's he's melted down and has some bad moments, but he was always the number one guy. Kyrie's great moments in the playoffs have always come as the number two guy. He didn't have many great moments in Boston as the top guy. In fact, he he struggled. He played poorly against Boston. Yeah, but he's not going to uh, be the top guy here, though. I right, mean, that, but me, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't think, like, I, I think, I'll put it this way. I think the duo of KD and Harden, is better than the duo, duo of KD and Kyrie. I don't think so if you're trying to win a championship. Uh, Chris, regular season, I'll give you that. Looks pretty hard. And if I'm talking about winning a championship, I just would rather be – Kyrie is a proven guy when it matters. That's all. Much more than James Harden. How about that? Much well, more than I mean, James Harden. I mean, Harden doesn't choke. I mean, well, he has choked before, but he's also had big moments. He yeah, hasn't but he's won had, the he's big had, one. He's had but he's a lot had more big moments. He's had a lot more bad moments uh, for a player of his ilk and and, and ability. Uh, you remember? And remember, KD would be the top guy. No, I get Carden that. Harden would be the number two. You know, I still, I still think, I still think, to win a championship, those two guys come to the table with championships. Harden doesn't. And I don't think it's automatic. Yeah, but you don't think if Harden played with LeBron, and I'm not uh, not taking anything away from Kyrie. If Harden was in LeBron's or Kyrie's place, 
I think he'd have a championship too. I'm not so sure. One. That dude, so that sure. dude is bad. I've seen but, him miss here, that shot. Here's what I do. Well, I'm not saying he'd make that shot, but here's what I if I, you know, because you're right. Some people are saying trade Kyrie. First of all, I don't even think that's an option, Rob. That's not on the no, table. I, right. I don't believe well, that. On the Chris. table, I don't even think it's an option because number one, I don't think many teams would take him. Honestly, I think teams would, would be worried about it. You know, is he going to be with you? And number two, I'm not so sure if they tried to trade him that Kyrie wouldn't walk away. I'm serious. So I don't even, like, if he's at home, he wanted to be home, I don't know that he would go somewhere else. So I don't even think that's an option. But even if it were, I would give it a try with these three. And if Kyrie's bugging at all or if it just ain't working or whatever, then I would try to trade him if I could. But I'd give it a try first. 